Why do people play simulation games? Is it for the drama, the fame, the fortune, or to expand on their never-ending god complex? As a kid, I saw girls play popular simulation games like The Sims, and me being not like other girls, but would rather play newly released shooters like Far Cry 4 with the boys, and refused to invest any time with the genre. But now I'm trying one. Outlanders is a different kind of simulation game. And what could that possibly mean, you're probably asking? Well, it's a city builder, so it has to give me something, right? I gotta be able to smooch my characters like a Sims game, but also get to cause some tyrancy and maybe some inflation rising, right? Well, it kind of left me wanting more, which could be a good thing, but it's lacking some content that the base game gives, which we will explore today in the video. Okay, he's just eating food. What are you doing? You're also eating food. Sheesh! Why do men do this? They wonder why they get no butches. Maybe just let them for a while. So what's Outlanders? It's a town building strategy game created by Pomela Games that was originally launched on iOS, but is now on the PC Master Race and a uh, Mac, I guess, if you're counting that, which we will get back to the iOS stuff. Keep that in the back of your mind for later. So you play as God or a leader of land. I'm not too sure about the situation, but you're basically controlling a tiny Scandinavian town. With this 30, 60 degree camera and top down gameplay, it feels like you're looking down at your tiny ant farm, watching them thrive and forcing them to breathe. Oh no to no end to have an endless supply of people to do your bidding. It also offers a relaxing and enjoyable experience, backed up with the background music that is kind of like a lo-fi sort of vibe. You're given different ways to play as well and everything is fine and dandy. A simple premise, very good game, right? Well, let's circle back. Remember when I said the game was initially released on iOS? And let me tell you, frankly, it shows. The UI and gameplay is too simple and doesn't provide as much detail as I would like it. By native PC gaming standards like City Skyline, that would provide you something more detailed and have a bunch of all these like stats and mechanics. Well, I just feel lacklustered by Outlander's ability to portray what's actually happening in the game. Which I want to make it clear now. This does not make it any worse of a game in any meaningful way. It just means that it was made with a different design goal in mind for it to possibly like easy transfer a iOS game all the way over to PC, which I get it, but I still feel like it should have had a little bit more love and care for it to be more detailed on as a PC release. The game was clearly made for short bursts of play, which is common in mobile games, and I found myself during the entirety of the review doing homework while seeing my townspeople fight over bread or something. Now there are two set ways to play the game. A sandbox mode, which allows you to choose your own biomes, your starting population number, as well as many other features. I found this mode to be not the most fun for me. That's maybe due to me liking more structure in my games, having sense of tasks, progress, all those sort of stuff. While the end goal for the sandbox mode is basically to survive, figure out how many days you can last in your set environment. There's also a structured campaign mode that provides a detailed set of things to do, and it's amazing for my ADHD brain. The runtime for the campaign took me about 40 minutes to an hour, but that's not including the times that I failed. That's the part that I found the most addicting, actually, about the game. It was almost like a roguelike city builder, a pretty novel idea. As I went through my playthrough, I found myself wanting more features, such as the ability to pair certain followers, because I want to know, will Shirley and Victor make a good couple? Oh, and yes, these people in the town are called followers, and speaking of them, beware, please, just beware. Managing your followers can be tricky, it's easy to lose track of them, and before you know it, you feel like you're running a cult, but you can't tell people what to do exactly what you want them to do. But whatever, just don't go all midsummer with it. 
Now building structures in the games, you have stuff like barns, windmills, builders, everything to keep your followers working and busy. Though I can never find out how much these specific buildings put out. Buildings such as farms tend to not produce much product to survive off of. I recall having a barn producing about four crops per day. And then after which, uh, my, my, my followers basically died. So rest in peace then. The game also have a sort of corporate-esque and a low poly feel, which is a great art style. I typically enjoy this sort of thing, but when it comes to a top-down game, it makes it really difficult to tell where things are. However, the lack of titles that they have in the overworld of the game when placing buildings and such is a nice touch to keep things more organic. Now the music is simple but fitting and it lulls you into a relaxed state with its cozy guitar sound and it reminds me a lot like the Outer Wilds soundtrack. It's perfect to accompany it to the slow pace of the game. If I were to stretch out the file a complaint with the soundtrack, I suppose it could be a bit repetitive. The loop is pretty long in fairness, but after an hour or two of straight gameplays, you then start to notice the repeats. Overall, Outlanders is a well-crafted game that provides an enjoyable and relaxing experience for a mobile game. Oh my goodness. Even its unique Scandinavian setting can't save it from its repetitive gameplay and confusing mechanics that obviously don't transfer well for PC. Yet. I wouldn't recommend how it is now, but I have hope for the developers to eventually put some lifetime intuitive patches into play as well as some DLC. Now that's all I have for today. If you have any game that you want me to review next, comment below. Until next time, ciao.